The rivalry is real and it will take center ice at Little Caesars Arena this weekend. The U.S. women's hockey team taking on its biggest competition, Canada. Our Jamie Edmonds shows us why the timing of this match is so special and how these athletes feel about the future of their sport. Little Caesars Arena, the home of the guys who wear the winged wheel. But come Sunday, the hope is this place will provide some home ice advantage for the ladies who wear the red, white, and blue. United States wins gold! It's almost been a year to the date that the U.S. women's hockey team defeated Canada in a shootout for the Olympic gold medal. The first for the U.S. in 20 years. Forward Danny Cameronese and goalie Alex Rigsby remember it like it was yesterday. It's a feeling you really can't even describe. There are so many different emotions you're feeling, so many different emotions the rest of our teammates are feeling. Some are bawling because they're so happy, and it has had taken so long for us to be able to accomplish that goal. Like Danny said, there was just so many like, tears and hugs, and you look at the cel celebration, there's just so many genuine emotions. I mean, we couldn't get enough hugs in and we're seeing our families and there's tears. The women say it was so satisfying because they had worked so hard. The party continued after they got home to the States with several TV appearances, but the best part was joining youth camps all across the country, seeing little girls get so excited. And that's um, one of the best parts I think about playing hockey and being in the position that we are in is we have the ability to create that change and um, Woman in sports it is a huge movement now, and I think it's just going to keep getting bigger. The biggest moment yet? Kendall Coyne Schofield became the first woman to compete in the NHL skills competition this past All-Star weekend, getting seventh in the fastest skater competition. Plenty of little girls and boys saw that. She did awesome, and it was so incredible, and she gained so much um, notice for our sport. and. Um, for what women can actually do. There's actually this post that went out from a dad who, and it's a picture of his little girl watching Kendall on TV, and she had never thought about playing hockey or anything like that, and I guess just pointed at the TV and says, I want to do what she just did. The women have been riding this incredible wave since winning gold in South Korea, and all of that has set the stage for Sunday, right here in Hockey Town. The women taking on Canada, the finale of a three game series, a rematch of that gold medal game. I mean, it's going to be a good game. And for, you know, obviously Canada, they're going to want revenge on us. And, you know, we have the big targets on our back after coming off a big win. Oh, loose pocket, she scores! Um, games against Canada are always like very really exciting and really intense. And um, we're just really excited to be at Little Caesars Arena in front of that crowd. Cameron Azy and Rigsby are hoping to get a huge crowd Sunday at LCA, a pro-American crowd hopefully, to show those Canadians that the gold medal last year was just the beginning and U.S. hockey is on the rise. Jamie Edmonds, Local 4.